Sean O'Malley entered the octagon looking like someone morphed Tekashi69 with hip-hop legend Busy Bone from Bone Thugs and Harmony, and he delivered the most definitive KO victory of the night. O'Malley is the real deal, he didn't waste any time at UFC 250 on Saturday night, breaking out one of the best walk-off knockouts of the year almost instantly. O'Malley, less than two minutes into the first round of his bantamweight bout with Eddie Wineland at the UFC Apex facility in Las Vegas, landed a shot square to Wineland's face, knocking him down cold. Instantly, as Wineland was still on his way to the ground, O'Malley started walking off, knowing he had already secured the win. The win improves O'Malley's record to a perfect 12-0 and marks his second win of the year, following a knockout win against Jose Quinones at UFC 248 in March. He's now won 8 of his 12 matches with a knockout, and 9 of them in the first round. O'Malley called for a $100,000 bonus after his win rather than the customary $50,000 pop. O'Malley is one of the fastest rising stars in mixed martial arts. At 25 years old, he's 12 and 0 and looks like the most promising Dana White Tuesday Night Contender Series Allen. Another impressive win in Bantam Wing Division when Cody Garbrandt brushes off losing Skid with a vicious knockout punch. Cody Garbrandt entered UFC 250 on a brutal three-fight losing Skid, all coming by knockout. As he stepped into the octagon to face Rafael Sunkeo in the bantamweight co-main event from the UFC Apex facility in Las Vegas, the former champion status as a relevant part of the division was at risk. Garbrandt took a patient approach to the fight before unloading with a brutal right hand a split second before the horn to win the second round, knocking a Sun KO out cold. Garbrandt had recently fallen victim to his own willingness to engage in brawls, leaving himself open to get clipped in striking exchanges. Against a Sun KO, he took a more conservative approach, using feints and calf kicks to create openings. That approach paid off as he busted up a Sun KO's leg early and rattled him with a few overhand rights. As a Sun KO began to figure out the puzzle in the second round, Garbrandt began laying a trap. With time winding down, Garbrandt moved back to the cage and ducked down as his opponent walked forward, springing forward with a wild right that connected clean and dropping a Sun KO to the canvas in a heap as the horn sounded to win the round. It feels amazing, it's been a journey, Garbrandt said of his rise and fall in the sport. I went from the top of the world 11 and 0 to a 3 fight skid. I just want to thank everyone for sticking with me. I give these fights away when I brawl. My passion is back. A lot of fighters lose that and it's hard to find, Cody said. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe.